the entrance antiphon, the Lord will come and he will not delay. He will illumine what is hidden in darkness and reveal himself to all the nations. Good morning. Today's Mass is being offered from Marie S. Van Kirk. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Good morning. Today is the memorial of St. Uh, Juan Diego, and uh, we celebrate his uh, memorial today. On Saturday, we will celebrate the Feast of Our Lady of Guadalupe, and of course, these two are interconnected. And I happen to have the 8 o'clock Mass on Saturday, so I'm saving all the good stuff for that just for a minute. Let's come before the Lord now to confess our sins, and so to prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. And by the way, Juan Diego was the, the man, well, finally the hermit, to whom Our Lady of Guadalupe appeared. O oh God, who by means of St. Juan Diego showed the love of the Most Holy Virgin Mary for your people, grant through his intercession that by following the counsels our mother gave at Guadalupe, we may be ever constant in fulfilling your will. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. To whom can you liken me as an equal, says the Holy One. Lift up your eyes on high and see who has created these things. He leads out their army and numbers them, calling them all by name. By his great might and the strength of his power, not one of them is missing. Why, O Jacob, do you say and declare, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right is disregarded by my God? Do you not know, or have you not heard? The Lord is the eternal God, creator of the ends of the earth. He does not faint nor grow weary, and his knowledge is beyond scrutiny. He gives strength to the fainting, for the weak he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and you stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength as they soar with the eagle's wings. When they run, they will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The responsorial psalm, O oh, bless the Lord, my soul, Bless the Lord, my soul. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and all my being. Bless his holy name. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits. Bless the Lord, my soul. He pardons all your iniquities. He heals all your ills. He redeems your life from destruction. He crowns you with kindness and compassion. O bless the Lord, my soul. Merciful and gracious is the Lord, slow to anger and abounding in kindness. Not according to our sins does he deal with us, nor does he requit us according to our crimes. O oh, bless the Lord, my soul.
Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus said to the crowds, Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am meek and humble of heart, and you will find rest for yourselves, for my yoke is easy and my burden light. The Gospel of the Lord. Well, we don't get a lot of cold weather here in uh, South Louisiana, but we have had a little uh, cool snap at least. And on Saturday night, uh, during the night, uh, while I was sleeping, the, uh, the heater went out uh, in our house. And I woke up about, I guess about three or four in the morning, chilly, and uh, with a scratchy throat. And got up and said, the heater's not on went and checked it and the heater was on, it wasn't working. So naturally I put it up to 80 and it still didn't come on. Uh, so my, one of my first calls on Sunday morning was to our facilities guy, CJ, saying, the heater's not working. So we had somebody come out on Sunday and they took a look at it and they said, the igniter is broken and it needs to be replaced and that will have to be ordered. So we can't fix it today. So we went through Sunday night and it was chilly. Uh, I was wrapped up like a mummy to sleep. I had on a robe and a wool hat and blankets and scarf over my face and everything. And God did get a little bit of sleep. So Monday the people came back out again and they uh, replaced the igniter. And the part they put in was defective. It had a crack in it. So after working one or two times, it did work. And so Monday night when I went to turn the heater on, it, it didn't work. So we, we finally got it fixed now. But you know, these are the things that happen in life. I know it's obviously not just to me, it happens to everybody. Things don't go according to plans. Mechanical things break. Uh, plans get pushed aside and there's disappointment and sometimes there's a, a little bit of suffering involved. And we can get frustrated and we can get aggravated. And uh, it's really good to hear the Lord tell us and remind us that when we're feeling labored and burdened by life, whatever it may be, it may be something much greater than a heater that isn't working. It may be a family problem, somebody that's not cooperating with the program, uh, a job loss or a change of job situations or any one of the assortments of problems that come in life, it's, it's just reassuring to hear the words of Jesus. Come to me when you're laboring and are burdened, and I will give you rest. And you know, in Advent, the church makes a deliberate effort to connect the gospel with the first reading. And the reading from Isaiah is a beautiful reading from which we have several wonderful hymns. It says, the Lord God is eternal, and he doesn't faint or grow weary. Rather, he gives strength to the fainting. For the weak, he makes vigor abound. Though young men faint and grow weary, and youth stagger and fall, they that hope in the Lord will renew their strength. They will soar as with eagles' wings. They will run and not grow weary, walk and not grow faint. Well, obviously, on Eagle's Wings and a number of other songs that we sing in our Catholic tradition come directly from this passage of Isaiah. And it's just reminders, you know, the, the scriptures give us all kinds of stories and images to, to stick with us so that when we get into a pickle, when we get into a difficult spot, we have something to grab onto. We can say, well, that's like what happened with Jesus when he did this, that, or the other. Or that's like that passage of scripture. Come to me, all you who labor and are burdened, and I will give you rest. 
I, I know as I, as I thought about what I was going through just with the heater, this is minor inconvenience really in the big picture, so minor. Uh, but yet it was something where I, I decided to turn to God and say, I'm weak. I don't want to be cold, especially in the middle of the night. Uh, I want to be warmed and comforted. And so I did turn to the Lord in my anguish. And spiritually, I felt comforted, even though I needed to throw on yet another comforter on that final night. So the Lord, uh, the Lord is so good to us in bringing us comfort and rest when we're labored and burdened. So this is one of those scriptures to put, uh, if you have a Bible, hopefully you do, to uh, put a, uh, a, a turn the page, put a leaf on the end of the page for that, and maybe even from that beautiful passage from Isaiah 40, so that when we're with something much more challenging than just a broken heater, we'll be able to turn to God and say, you know what, this is burdensome, this is troublesome, this is difficult, but this too shall pass. And I turn to you, Lord, so you can give me comfort and rest. Let's trust in the promise of Jesus to give rest to those who are burdened. Please stand as we bring our prayers and needs to our Heavenly Father. For all members of the church, may the grace of God continue to nourish and strengthen us. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For peace in our world and in our hearts, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For all who struggle to provide food, shelter, education, or health care for their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the safety of the men and women serving in our armed forces and first responders serving in our communities, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For an increase in vocations to the priesthood, religious life, and permanent diaconate in our archdiocese, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us now pause to add our own intentions in silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Please join now in our prayer for healing from the coronavirus and our family prayer. Lord Jesus, you travel through towns and villages, curing every disease and illness. Come to our aid in the midst of the coronavirus, that we may experience your healing love. Heal those who are sick with the virus. May they regain their strength and health. Bring those who have died from the virus to eternal peace. Protect doctors, nurses, and healthcare professionals as they help the sick. Guide researchers to develop a vaccine. Be with leaders of nations and give them wisdom to act with true concern for their people. Stay by our side in this time of uncertainty, anxiety, and sorrow. Grant us your peace. We pray this in your most holy name, Jesus, for you are our loving and healing Lord. Our Lady of Prompt Succor, St. Joseph, St. Francis Xavier, St. Brock, and St. Rosalie, pray for us. Amen. Loving and faithful God, through the years the people of our Archdiocese have appreciated the prayers and love of Our Lady of Prompt Succor in times of war, disaster, epidemic, and illness. We come to you, Father, with Mary, our Mother, and ask you to help us in the battle of today against violence, murder, and racism. We implore you to give us your wisdom, that we may build a community founded on the values of Jesus, which gives respect to the life and dignity of all people. Bless parents that they may form their children in faith. Bless and protect our youth that they may be peacemakers of our time. Give consolation to those who have lost loved ones through violence. Hear our prayer and give us the perseverance to be a voice for life and human dignity in our community. We ask this through Christ our Lord, our Lady of Prompt Succor, hasten to help us. Mother Henrietta Leo, pray for us that we may be a holy family. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, but through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands, and will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Through the present oblation, O Lord, which we offer in commemoration of the visionary and hermit Juan Diego, bestow on your faithful, we pray, the gifts of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For he assumed at his first coming the lowliness of human flesh, and so fulfilled the design you formed long ago. He opened for us the way to eternal salvation, so that when he comes again in glory and majesty, and all is at last made manifest, we who watch for that day may inherit the great promise in which we now dare to hope. And so with all the angels and archangels and thrones and dominions and all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Gregory, our Bishop, his fellow bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles, Saint Juan Diego, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life 
and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Amen. Thank you. Let us offer each other the sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter onto my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord, in commemoration of blessed Juan Diego, sanctify our minds and hearts that we may merit to be made sharers in the divine nature through Christ our Lord. Amen. And just a thank you to all who came out yesterday for prayer during the day, uh, prayer for our nation and for families, and especially thanks to all who led the rosary at the start of each hour. We are grateful. Today we will have the second half of confessions for all of our school children beginning at 9.30, so I ask the ushers please to leave the lights on and the doors unlocked. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Go forth, the Mass is ended. Have a great day. St. Michael the Archangel, defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.